Hey there guys, what is going on? It is Gail right here. Welcome back to the YouTube channel once again for another Don Mimo video. And today, I'm going to be talking about certain units that will never be able to be, you know, pulled for. Units that cannot be summoned ever again. And units that cannot be exchanged either. Now, the reason why I state that is because if you go into the shop right now, if you're playing Don Machi Memoria Freeze, if you go to the special exchange, if you scroll down, there is a way for you to be able to exchange for time limited units. Now, this is mainly for collectors. And the reason why I say this is because there are a lot of first year units and second year units that never get reruns, right? So it's rare for people to be able to pull them. But that does not mean you can't pick them up. But this is more so for players who are whales, you know, players who are spending money on the game. It's not for the average player. The average player will not be able to summon for these units, but you can still get them. That's the main point. The units I'm going to be talking about today will never, and I mean never, be able to be pulled forever again. Well, I shouldn't say that because there's one set of units that I don't know exactly if they will be able to be pulled for or not. Now, if you scroll down on this list, right? If you scroll down on this list, the one thing to note is that while you can put, get a lot of time limited units the main ones you can't get in terms of time limited units are collaboration units so goblin slayer data live any of those you cannot pull them you cannot pick them up through this the only units you can get through this are time limited units that are exclusively to the game and you know connected to the copyright that is Don Machi if it's anything else no there's just no way you can get it so that's one thing to note and that's where my point starts I do not think there will be some collaborations that will ever get reruns or new series or new collaborations ever again I do not think that's gonna happen so what I did was I went into my box and saw what I had and admittingly I had uh, one collaboration uh, well specifically there was one collaboration way back when that I didn't actually get a lot of units from I only got three units in in that collaboration in total I couldn't get any of the other ones unfortunately there was an eyes and two other units based on that collaboration unfortunately I didn't pull them but if you look at the party and that's where we will start off we have the AOT collaboration on the left hand side. You can see we have the Aaron, we have the Bell from AOT, we have Armin on the bottom of Bell as the assist, and we have a Titan Aaron assist as well. Now, I don't think we'll ever get the AOT collaboration ever again. This, uh, this collaboration was actually done uh, right after the first anniversary. I think it was two to three months after the first anniversary. And we've never had a rerun since then. It was actually a collaboration based on AOT Season 2 as well. And we are on like the final Season Part 3, which is basically like Season 6, Season 7 of Attack on Titan, right? Um, obviously, right now we're technically on Season 4, but you know what I mean. There's been so many parts and stuff like that. Technically, we're on like Season 6, Season 7. So I don't think we're ever going to get these units ever again. And the thing is, they've not gotten buffs since then. If you look at the Bell's skills, right, based on, you know, the meta that we have right now, you know, we have additional actions and all that jazz. While you can hero ascend these units, they updated the units to do that at least. If you look at their skills, like bro, foes low wind magic attack and self wind attack damage plus 60% for four turns. <laughs> It's so basic. Then you look at the second skill. Foes high wind magic attack with temporary magic boost and wind resist minus 20% for 3 turns. And then the third skill is a foes mid wind magic attack and allies critical rate plus 20% for 3 turns. It is so bad. It is genuinely horrible. The special arts is literally just one line. If you look at units nowadays, right? Let's look at a, another wind unit off... Uh, today's day and age right let's look at menu menu is a unit that we recently got as part of the executioner and her way of life collaboration right and you can see the special arts while it doesn't do as much as some other special arts it gives ultra critical rate and it removes status buffs if you look at her combat skills there is a nullification there's a str agility wind attack damage plus 65 percent that's three buffs in one 
Bell was one buff per skill basically so you can tell that there is a big difference in the day and age and they never uh, they've never updated these AOT units if you look at Armin as well he's dated minus 10% STR and God raid allies 10% this is a summonable unit this Armin was a summonable unit he's at plus two only admittingly so he would be minus 15% on both if I'm not mistaken but that's still really really bad Titan Aaron, if I'm not mistaken, he was stun res or he inflicted stun. Sorry, he was inflicting stun and he reduced P res. This isn't a bad assist even in this day and age because of course of all the ailments and stuff like that. But there have been better assists that just do much, much more nowadays. So even then, this Titan Aaron is still dated. And of course, Aaron was the free to play unit. So I'm not going to say that, oh, you know, you should this unit is going to be insane or anything. But look at this. Foes have been physical attack. They've not updated these units and the fact that they've not updated these units There's been no mention of a rerun or anything of that sort. It's been nearly Four years. It's going to be four years later this month in in, in November. I think four years. Yeah, it should be four years Four years four years since we've actually had the AOT collaboration no updates to the units, so no buffs or anything of that sort no reruns no new collaboration it's been a non-existent thing since the start of the game pretty much so AOT definitely not gonna happen now I'm gonna show you guys the units that came with the AOT collaboration right because I've been mentioning like I, I said at the start you know I, I think I said it at the start that we had an eyes and two other units so let's look at the eyes first right so if you guys want to see the eyes this is how the eyes look like she was basically wearing the uh you know the costume and outfits from the AOT series very much similar to Mikasa's outfit I would say exactly like Mikasa's outfit actually and uh her skills as well not insane in all honesty the, her skills were basically just kind of similar to uh, uh bells as well um you know the self wind attack damage plus 60 percent increases damage received on enemies temporary strength boost even this is just temporary strength boost there's not much to these units but back then they were amazing for like war games and stuff like that obviously the meta back then was completely different so you can't really expect much out of these units uh you know nowadays but back then they were really really good now let's scroll down we'll show you the two units that were also there they were both adventures one was a single target the other was of course an aoe unit and we had levi and mikasa mikasa was the single target unit um very very much very basic again nothing too crazy obviously and then levi was a aoe unit of course for dark type units and again very 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 basic so i'm not gonna talk too much about that but yeah those were the units i don't remember how the banners were split of course armin and uh titan Aaron were split i think it was bell and mikasa on one banner and the other banner was Levi and Eyes, I think? Or I don't remember if it was Belle and Levi and Eyes and Mikasa. I think it was the girls were split and the boys were split and then the assists were split. I think it was like that. I'm pretty sure it was like that. But yes, the AOT banners, never gonna come back. Another unit that's not gonna come back ever again, in my opinion, is this one. Crunchyroll Hime, yes, that Crunchyroll Hime, the mascot of Crunchyroll, of course. A unit that, yeah, I, like I said, you'll never see this unit ever again. And there was another unit that actually was with this Crunchyroll Hime that you will never see again, and it was a Hestia. We'll come on to the Hestia in a moment. I actually never pulled her. Um, they were on the same banner together, uh, but all I got was Crunchyroll Hime, literally. I never pulled the other Hestia, unfortunately. But this... Uh, Crunchyroll Hime is actually pretty decent for the modern meta again um, match plus 15% and a chance to inflict 45% or 45 chance to inflict stun on your enemies really good technically and I remember actually using her quite a lot on the team because I had a magic team going I had basically a fire magic team being built you know at the time there was a Christmas collab uh, Christmas time limited units um, as well as some other units that came out along afterwards that were just pure fire magic units and it was insane it was really really good this unit along with them was great uh but again i don't see this ever happening again or this unit coming back ever again purely because the collaboration between crunchyroll and the game itself ended like about two years ago two and a half years ago 
probably even longer because I remember they split up during the around the second or third anniversary I want to say I want to say more so the third anniversary because Crunchyroll scaled back their support on Don Ma Don Machi Memorial Freeze a while back because the way it was was basically that Don, Don Mimo was published by Crunchyroll at one point now it's of course published directly by Ride Flyer Studios but back then Crunchyroll was the one organizing a lot of the Western celebrations, events, social media stuff and whatnot. But it wasn't good, in all honesty. Nobody enjoyed it. There were a couple of decisions that they made that were very, very bad, including one critical one at the start of the game's uh, life cycle, where they basically removed a certain feature from the interact where you could, you know, press the girls and they would react and stuff like that. You know, the characters, you, they would react and... As a result, they removed it because, of course, regulations and stuff, that's what they said. And a lot of people got mad, right? And uh, as a result, the that from there on, people weren't very happy with them. Then they hosted one or two live streams, which are very poorly managed. Nobody liked them. And since then, we've never had anything. And then, of course, at a point, they just stopped supporting the game entirely. And uh, then they just stopped publishing the game as well. As a result, they handed back the publishing rights to Ride Flyer Studios, which is great. I think that's good enough. I was really hoping that they wouldn't just shut it down because, oh, you know, they weren't doing a good enough job. So at least Ride Flyer Studios picked it back up and were like, yeah, we'll keep publishing it to the global regions, which was great. But yeah, I don't see Crunchyroll ever coming back because, well, the support finished. It was over. Finito. There was nothing, nothing left of it. And I'll show you guys the... Uh, um, Hestia as well. She wears basically the same outfit as the Crunchyroll Hime, right? Um, if I'm not mistaken, it's here. This is the one. Yes, this is the one. Kunoichi Goddess Hestia. This was the one that I don't have, unfortunately. Very similar outfit. Um, at plus 5, she's STR focused. She gives allies STR 10% and 15% HP and re uh, HP regen per turn. Very good unit, again, for its time. Both were good in their own rights and really, really handy for sure. But uh, like I said, don't expect these units to ever come back. Now, looking back at the party, right? Look at the rest of the units that we have here. There are a majority of them are Goblin Slayer units. And then I put one Kino's Journey unit. Now, Kino's Journey actually had a rerun. I think about a year ago, give or take. It's been a while, so I can't remember the exact dates, but we did have a rerun of it a while back. They updated the units. They made them a little bit better because T wasn't like this. T only had um, STR 10% and critical rate. She now has fire and earth attack damage boosted up as well. So while we did get a rerun recently, and I think there is a chance that we might get a rerun, I do think it's less likely compared to say Data Live or anything else because it's just had a rerun. I think Data Live is very likely because the authors themselves, both for Data Live and Danmachi, they're very close, they're friends, they, you know, go over each other's works and stuff. So data life is going to happen again that's why i have not put any data life unit in here and another eden is another game uh, obviously made by right flyer studios and gree so i don't see that also not happening in the future again you know i think that might get a rerun in the future and the fact that they put so much effort into it with the new summon animation and everything i think it's very likely we could get that rerun again the executioner and her way of life uh is a collaboration i re i just mentioned when we were talking about the uh bell and stuff i think that rerun will happen again i think it's a possibility uh that that might continuously happen i think the way the story was and everything i think that's very likely to happen but goblin slayer and you know kino's journey kino's journey first and foremost i just don't think it's gonna happen anytime soon it may happen in the future but i think it's very unlikely i think it's one of the less likelier uh candidates for a rerun and then goblin slayer goblin slayer we'll have to wait until uh, the next season comes out of course we know that there is a next season coming out i think it's supposedly coming out in the winter of 2023 or in the spring of 2023 i don't remember the exact dates but i know that there is an upcoming season coming out and there is a chance that we might get a collaboration event then uh, or rerun itself, right? We might be able to get it. But for now, I think it's one of the less likelier candidates. I think the I think the Kino's Journey and Goblin Slayer ones are just on the lower scale of potentially not going to happen, but may happen at the same time. Whereas I think the others are very likely to happen. They could 
you know, we will get reruns. Like, Day to Life is 100% going to happen again. I, I There is no doubt about it. I think that is definitely going to happen again. And I think there's a couple of other celebrations that I do think will also happen. Like, I also think there will be other collaborations as well in the future with, you know, new series. Like, for example, I think we might get a Konosuba collaboration in the future because... You know, Danmachi did collaborate with the Konosuba Gacha game. So I think we will also get one over here on Danmachi as well, inevitably. But that's another topic for another day, probably. You know, collaborations that I want to see in Danmachi. But uh, I think this is these are my thoughts, by the way, uh, uh, at the end of the day. Um, I was going to say, by the way, but these are my thoughts at the end of the day. I don't think AOT and the Crunchyroll stuff will happen. But Goblin Slayer and Jikino's Journey, I think it's unlikely that they will happen again. But it's not impossible. But there you guys go, there is just a, it's a small, this was a bit of a uh, different video and just a little bit of an insight onto some of the collaborations that we had and stuff like that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, if, if you want, you guys can put your comments uh, in, down below as uh, saying, you know, what uh, collaborations you want to see and stuff like that. I might make that into a video as well where I talk about collaborations that you guys mentioned and what we could get and stuff like that. But once again, appreciate all of y'all for tuning into this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye-bye, everybody.